Hi everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to uh, write a C program and also draw a flowchart uh, to check if a number is angstrom or not. So let us first discuss what is an angstrom number. There is a number 153, right? What I told you, the sum of the cubes of the individual digits is the number itself, sum of the cube. Cube of the individual digits ka sum is the number itself, right? Let us take this example 153, 1 plus 125 plus 27 is 153. It means this number is equal to the original number, right? The sum of the cubes of the individual digits of this number is equal to the number itself. That means this is Angstrom number. Okay, so we will uh, simply use a while loop to uh, execute this code. So let us straight away jump into drawing the flowchart of this angstrom logic. So what we will do, we will first start the flowchart. Then we have to assign two variables to first, since we need comparison in this, so we need a temporary variable assigned to the number that the user will input and we are finding the sum in this uh, code so we will also assign sum to zero then we will input the number input n then what we will do we'll simply use a while loop by now you must have understood if you're watching the previous videos you must have understood how the while loop works and these logics must be very simple to you now then we will simply apply the operation that we need to do we need to first find the remainder to extract the digits what we are doing we are extracting the digits and we're finding the cube and we are just adding them so this this operator modulus operator will extract the digits from the last position right that's what we did in the previous code also then we will simply find the sum sum plus we're finding the cube so rem into rem into rem right this is the cube then we will just simply divide it right we will discuss in the dry run how this logic is working for now i'm just writing it this is only if the condition is true right after this condition is false what we do like we did in palindrome number we just compared we will just compare sum in palindrome we compare the reverse with the original number here in angstrom we will compare the sum with the original number and the original number is in variable t because n is zero from here right question mark if it is true will give the message print ang is strong otherwise it is very important to write true and false in flowchart print not ang is strong right and then we will stop the code simply okay so this is the flowchart for angstrom number. I hope you understood. Let us discuss the dry run by taking the example we took here. We have n is equals to 153 and we store the variable n in temporary variable t, so 153, right? t also has the value 153. Now, if n not equals to zero, what is n? n is 153. So and 153 is clearly not equals to zero. That means this condition is true. It will get inside this loop and we will have remainder is equals to 153 divided by 10. Modulus 10, sorry. So then um, REM modulus 10 we have here. So REM will be 3, right? REM will have value 3 because modulus operator gives the remainder as the output. So REM will be 3 and the sum will be sum. Sum is initially 0. 
they were assigned to 0 so 0 plus 3 into 3 into 3 that will be 27 so sum will be 27 value of sum will be 27 and n will have value 153 by 10 that is 15 right so rem has value 3 sum has value 27 and n has value 15 so again it will check the condition 15 not equal to 0 condition true get inside the loop we will again find rem now n is 15 so rem will have value 15 modulus 10 which will be 5 so rem is not 3 anymore it is it has value 5 so sum will be sum plus rem cube right so sum plus 15 into 15 into 15 that is 125 so we will have 152 here right so now n will have n 15 by 10 that is we will have 1 here then again the condition will be checked 1 not equal to 0 condition true rem will be n by 10 that is 1 by 10 1 by 10 will be 1 the remainder will be 1 so sum will be sum plus 1 into 1 into 1 that is sum plus 1 cube of 1 is 1 that is 153 and n will be 1 by 10 that is 0 so the final value of n is 0 sum is 153 right we'll check the condition n not equals to 0 condition false because n is equals to 0 so we'll come out of the loop we'll compare sum with temporary variable t that we'll store n because n is now 0 it has become 0 after coming out of this loop so that's why we'll compare it with t now that's the reason why we took the temporary variable t so that we can compare it with the original number so we'll compare sum with t for the value 53 it is true because 53 is an angstrom number so uh, it will print the number as angstrom in the screen so that's how the logic is applied now let me quickly write the code for you guys i hope you understood the logic so let's write the code quickly for angstrom number i hope you understood how uh, we did this code 